it's a luxury brand, fine, but you know what? They're in a fucking convenience store, you know? And this is a fucking buy one, get one free promotion. So what, what, what do they fucking want? They want an art house ad in French? No, that you tell them it's our original message. I mean, they're next to Four Loco, for Christ's sake. What? Huh? No, I'm here, yeah. Listen, I, I, I tell them we'll talk to them at the airport, okay? I gotta go. Okay. This is about the birthday thing, isn't it? You're still mad. I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, Trey, I'm not. It's just, you have to do what's best for you. For my career. And I have to do what's best for me. When I come back, we are going to celebrate your birthday, and we are going to have flowers, and we're going to have a cake. I'm going to even buy you something from the JFK gift shop. <laughs> and you can be 29 years old for just a few more days. That's not what I want. I know, it's not what you want. All we do is talk about what you want. I'm not trying to twist your arm. I just, look, when you know, you know. And if you don't know after all this time, then I don't... I don't hear you. I love you. You're gonna get everything you want. Wash your hands. What? You know, we're having a serious conversation right now. And you're being gross. Happy? And we could have spent this time any way you wanted. You want to nag me about washing my hands? Go crazy. Asking you to wash your hands is not nagging. It's treating me like a child. And at the same time, asking me to propose to you on one knee like an adult? Do, do you not see that that doesn't add up? That's not what I'm trying to... Hello? Yeah, thank you. I'll be down. The car's here. Look. I'm just gonna miss you. That's all it is. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? It's just five days. When I come back, we're gonna talk about everything, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. I love you. Five days. Today we've got domestic goddess and host of the hit web show, Pretty Penny on, to talk about what she does and how she does it. Penny, it's great to have you on. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Our chat room, packed, by the way. I think a lot of your fans followed you here. <laughs> maybe, maybe. My fans are great. I'm super lucky. So let's dive right into that. Your show targets that young female demo that is particularly fanatical about your type of lifestyle. <laughs> I guess it could have been cheesy, but it seems like it really resonates with girls. So is that something that happened naturally, or did you make the decision that this is the kind of audience that you wanted to go after? Oh, no, no. I mean, there wasn't like a master plan or anything like that. It's just basically my life. I, I wanted to share it. So I started with videos here and there, just me talking about what it was like to be married. I think it says a lot that there's so many women out there that are following along and watching the show. It's like they're saying, I'm not ashamed that this is the lifestyle that I want. And furthermore, I'm going to be really good at it because that's what my partner deserves. No, see, that is besides the point. It's your birthday. It's a specific day, your specific day. You didn't get to choose it, so you sure as shit doesn't get to change it. This is the one thing that I want in my life that I can't give myself. I don't know. Like, 
picking fights with him just so that I can hear him say he loves me when we both apologize. It's not crazy to want a future. You deserve it. I deserve it. We all deserve it. Look, Andy was the same way before we got married, and I had to make it damn clear to him that he was not my only option. And look at him now. 40 grand in fertility treatments, and he's still around. And how's that going? Nothing doing. Gotta go in next week to get more scar tissue scraped. Oh, honey. Yeah, I'll talk about something that should be easy. And he's been really great about it, though. You know, life isn't the storybook fairy tale that we thought it would be when we were little girls dreaming about our big day, but it doesn't mean he can't try to make it happen for me. Good morning, ladies of the internet. Pretty Penny here with three more tips on life, love, and domestic bliss. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this adorable bracelet. It also doubles as a late summer napkin holder. Cute, right? Then I'll show you the perfect way to cook bacon. And spoiler alert, it's not with a skillet. Hi, Penny. So my boyfriend and I have been together for two years and he's still not ready to take the plunge and get married. We're both 27 and I'm not getting any younger. Am I overreacting or should I give up on him? Great question. I get this all the time. Let's face it, we all want to be married. I know I did. So for those of you ladies out there with those scaredy cat guys, I'm going to tell you just what my mother told me. Shit or get off the pot. I know, I know. It sounds crude. But it's the truth. And it's just what those guys need to hear. So tell your boyfriend it's now or never. We need the space. Hello? It's Alex from the office, Trey's office. Oh, well, hold on. I I'm sorry. Uh, Trey said you'd be expecting me? What? Uh, you haven't spoken with him? No. It what? Um, just <laughs> give me a second. Hello? Oh my god, where have you been? I've been calling! Uh, I'm sorry, the phone was on vibrate. I didn't... There's an Alex... Vaughn? Alex Vaughn? Alex Vaughn here to... Oh, it's, it's why I've been calling. I fucking forgot an entire folder of prep. You know, after our whole morning together, I, I fucking forgot to pack the thing. And if I don't get them by tomorrow, I don't... Honey, honey, it's okay. I can get them for you. I just, I, I need to know where but they Alex are. Alex knows. It's, it's the drawer and near my bed. It's like, uh, it, it's like a whole folder full of stuff. Is she there? Can, can I just talk to her, please? Okay. Just give her the phone. Oh. Hello? Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> 
Of course, of course. All right. I'll see you later. I am so sorry about all of this interrupting and whatnot. It's fine. Um, let me get the whatever it is. This is saving his life. You have no idea. Ugh, he's been all over the place with this shoot. He needs this, he needs that. We've been a mess. I guess he was hoping we could just fetish him or something, but it got so late. see it. It's, what, like a folder or something? Yeah, in the top drawer? Oh, thank you so much. I hate bothering you. It's not a problem. Oh, I'm gonna miss my flight. Wait, you're flying us there? Well, yeah, he needs them by tomorrow morning. It's been crazy. I'm so over New York. perfect. I didn't get the class right. I mean, not as good as yours. Is it weird to say thank you? For the videos, I mean. You put so much time into them. They're always so cute and I really like them. I don't know. I just... They make my day. I mean, really, they do. No matter what I'm going through or how crappy my day has been, I always know I have a pretty penny video to look forward to. I mean, you're such a great wife. I want that. I want to be as good at something as you are at this. I mean, your husband's so lucky. He's got to be like, what? <sighs> the happiest guy on the planet? And if he's not, send him over to me. I'll knock some sense into him. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Is this the shade you use? Cran Apple Rouge, right? It looks so good on you.
there's a woman in my house. You have to hurry. You have to hurry. I'm at 2901 Fourth Street. It's unit 108. I don't, yes, I don't. Oh my God, she's at the door. She's trying to break down the door. I saw a woman. She chased me into my bedroom. Ma'am, we've searched the entire house. There's nobody here. Listen, I promised you there was someone in this house. Have you been drinking tonight, ma'am? Yes, I had a glass of wine. Why? If you need anything, a bruiser will be in the area. Just give us a call. And uh, get these lights fixed, huh? I'm sure it was just the earthquake. What earthquake? Trey, honey, um, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Somebody broke into the house last night. I, at least I, I thought someone did, and I, I had the police come, and they, they said they couldn't find anyone. And anyway, uh, um, can you just call me, please? 
I just, I just need to hear your voice, okay? I miss you so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bothering you, and I'm sorry for the way that I treated you the other day. You don't deserve that. But please, please just call me, okay? I love you. I love you. Bye. Yeah, I called them. No, I... They said they couldn't find anybody, but I swear I saw someone in... No, don't get mad at me! I, I get it. I know. I'm sorry. I know you're busy. I just... Okay. Yeah. Let's face it. We spend a lot of time taking care of the people around us. We make their happiness our priority. You know, it's not a crime to take care of yourself every now and then. It's okay, really. Take a deep breath. And let it all out. And just for a moment, let all the noise and negativity drift away. Breathe out and keep it out. Don't inhale. Stay empty. Feel better? Yeah, me too. Thank you.
What do I tell Trey? I don't think you have to tell him anything. I mean, you're not even sure yourself. Nothing? What if something's wrong with me? Look, I know that having a miscarriage is traumatic, but it doesn't mean that anything's wrong with you. No, not that. I don't mean just medically. What do you mean? Something bigger. <laughs> what are you two so fucking serious about? Hey, watch your language. Hi, Andy. Oh. Go ahead. I'll leave you alone. Hello? Hi, Megan. It's Alex from the other night. Hi. Hi, yeah. Um, Trey wanted me to call to, like, see how you were doing. He wanted you to call? Yeah, yeah. He said you were, like, really stressed out or something and wanted to check on you. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm having a blast. Oh, good. He was, like, really worried. Yeah. Well, you tell him it was so nice of him to call, okay? I appreciate it. Yeah, mm-hmm, totally. What happened? <laughs> My head's spinning. I'm glad to tell me about it. It prepped me for next week. Her? Like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I'm scheduled with Natalia. No, sorry, she's out sick. I'll be handling her clients for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay. Just the shoulders and the legs. I just... I can't keep going on like this, you know? Did I tell you that we're considering adoption? If, oh, my God! What did I tell you? Just the shoulders and the legs. I just had surgery, for Christ's sakes. I am. I don't want to get the new girl. I think the adoption will be good, hon. I mean, one way or another, you're going to be a great mom. What? I knew it. Caitlin, I sent you a video the other day. Caitlin. Kate, really. My friends call me Kate. Rach, this is Kate. I'm like her biggest fan. Uh, I can't believe you're here. Isn't this place great? Yeah. How about we uh, get back to that? Yeah, right. <laughs> A picture. I mean, would that be totally rude to get a pic? No, it's fine. Could you? Uh. Oh, I blinked weird. Could you do it again? Oh my god. This means so much to me. Thank you. Really. Gross. It was fine. I <laughs> can't wait till you see what she does with your robe after. Hey, we're changing here. I want you to have these discount cards to, you know, come back. Both of you. I think I'll stick with Natalia. My number's on there too, so, you know, for whatever. <laughs> Thank you. It's really sweet of you. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, God. I didn't hear what you. What are you doing? Uh, oh, God. I know this looks really bad, but... How did you get in here? He... He gave me a spare key, so... That's... Look, I thought you were in New York. Well, turns out they didn't need me, so... Have you been coming in here? What? You have. Look, I don't think you understand. Get out of here. Are you listening to me? Get out of here! Go! Okay. 
And don't come back!
reach Dr. Weigel. I'm not in the office, but please leave your name and number and I'll return your call. Hi, um, is this is Megan Butler. I watch your videos online. Oh, God, I feel like a total nutbag calling you out of the blue. I, um, in your videos, you talk about these stages of possession. And I, I think it's happening to me. And I, I was just hoping maybe if you have time, you could give me a call. Um, yeah, I'd really appreciate it because I just, I need to talk to someone. So, um, yeah, it would be good. Um, my number is 818. Good morning, ladies. Pretty Penny here with tips on life, love. Tips. More tips. Pretty Penny here. More tips. Good morning, ladies. Pretty Penny here with more tips on life, love. Good morning, ladies. Pretty Penny here with more tips on life, love, and domestic bliss. Today we're gonna... Hello? Good morning, ladies. Pretty Penny here with more tips on life.
I, you, you gotta speak up, babe. I can't hear you. I said I've been calling. Why don't you ever pick up your phone? I'm almost done here, babe. You, okay? I had a miscarriage. I was pregnant. What? I said I was pregnant and I lost our baby. Hello? What? I'm here. Can't you hear me? I can't even hear you. Hey, 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 if you're there, I'll try to call you no. back tonight at the hotel, No, Trey, okay? don't hang up. Don't hang up the phone, Trey. Hello? No, Trey. Trey. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I wouldn't have called unless it was an emergency. Oh God, are you okay? No, it's here again. Whatever it was before, it's here. If you could just come over here and see it. It won't let me leave. It's got me trapped in the house and it's tearing me apart piece by piece. Please. I'm not coming over. It's the middle of the goddamn night and I'm tired. I don't know 
what the hell's gotten into you? I just, I can't be alone anymore. I, I need someone. That's not my problem, okay? Rachel. You stupid little cunt. I don't give a fuck. Look, I've never given a fuck about you or your tiny little life. That's not you talking. You can't be alone. You are alone. <gasps> Good to see you again. Oh my god. Your place is so nice. <laughs> and the beach is just right there? Yeah, just a few blocks. I know this couch. <laughs> yeah, my little makeshift pretty penny set. Do you want some wine? Sure. So he gets to travel all over? That's yeah. so exciting. Do you ever get to go with him? Sometimes. I mean, it's great that you're so supportive. You stand by your husband. You have to, right? I want that. Someone to take care of. Someone to take care of me the same way. You're so lucky. Where's your ring? Oh, um... I was, I was washing it the other day, probably left it in the other room. Oh no. What? It looks like we're out of wine. Oh, well, that's no fun. We could open another. I can't drive home as it is. Oh, don't worry about it. You could stay here. Really? Is that weird? No, that sounds fun. Nothing too hot. I don't want to sweat to bed. Oh, there. That's fine. This is so fun. It's just like a sleepover, right? I love sleepovers. Although, I was never really allowed to go to sleepovers because my mom is so annoying. But don't worry, you're way much cooler than she is. <laughs> Thanks. Can I have this side? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm the one who should be thanking you. This was so sweet of you. What is it? It's just really tough. I hate being alone. Me too. It's not natural. We're not supposed to like it. But you have so much. If someone like you is worried, then someone like me should be suicidal. I wish I had what you have. It's not always as good as it looks. But it just doesn't feel like home when he's not here. No, no, hey, it's fine. It's 
nothing. I can't sleep either. Listen, I haven't been completely honest with you. I don't mean about Trey. I mean about me. And... if I did that. You don't understand. I can't control it. Control what? This. <laughs> I can feel it. It's all around us. I thought having you here would help. But it's not. Getting worse, and I don't know what to do. You need to take your own advice. Just breathe. This is my mother's advice. Well, you're lucky. My mother never said much of anything to me. And then she died. My aunt taught me everything I know. Everybody needs somebody. That's true. And when we don't have them, we're vulnerable. 
emotionally and spiritually. That's what she would say, that we're emotional creatures and we're full of desires and needs. And when we don't have them fulfilled, we could fall apart. This isn't a cry for help. No, I'm just saying. No. You don't have to say. I'm not some sort of pent up drama queen. No, you're someone I look up to. You have your whole life ahead of you. Like this? No. No, that is not me. That is not how I'm supposed to be. I, I know that. Just don't touch me. Do you want me to go? What is it? I'm so sorry. I was horrible last night. I don't know what came over me. It's okay. No, it's not. I woke up and I thought I dreamed it. I didn't have to tell you it was real. Hey, uh -huh. hey it's okay. Uh -huh. What's going on? <laughs> What is she doing here? What makes you think he's having an affair? The phone that I grabbed, it wasn't mine, it was his. And then all of a sudden I was reading all these texts from some girl. It went on and on for months. <laughs> he didn't even try to deny it. He just, he just admitted it matter-of-factly. He doesn't want to stop seeing her. Can you believe that? He wants us both. Oh, it's okay. No, you, you don't understand. You're not married. It's, it's, the least he could have done was try to hide it. Show some discretion. And maybe when you're married, you'll understand. What do you mean, when? <laughs> oh. Pretty Penny is just an act. He won't even tell me who she is. I mean, she's just some girl as far Kayla, as I don't know. Go. Some whore. I need you to stay. It was nice seeing you again. Kate. <laughs> don't. Jeez. Oh, what were you doing? Know you. What are you talking about? We have to get out of here. No, no, I'm fucking collapsing here. Rachel, I'm serious. We gotta go. Why? Oh. Oh. Great. Listen, I'm sorry for just barging in here. I know it's early. It's just. <coughs> It's just that this is all my fault, you know, after all the fertility shit I put him through, I feel like... <coughs> 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 I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help you. Oh my god, Rachel. 
I'll do better with what you've been given than you ever could. <laughs> Please. I don't deserve this. Neither of us deserve the life we've been given. for me? <laughs> Listen. I'm sorry. For what? Well, for everything, you know, for this week. You deserve better. I don't think I have to tell you that. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted to hear. <laughs> perfect. I have something else for you. I'm ready if you are. So what do you say? 